So, I just re-watched the video that I'm about to talk about because I wanted to make some notes on it. And it made me just as angry as the first time I watched it. Anyway, hi guys, you're right. So yesterday I am going to be talking about conversion therapy. There's a video I came across a few weeks ago and it's called We Went to Gay Conversion Therapy Camp and it is a three-part series. I only watched the first one because it was late at night, the end of it got me really angry and if my family went to sleep I probably would have thrown something around the room. I am going to go through the video, you'll probably see why I got angry later on and I'll probably put some clips here and there to show you what I mean about what they're saying in particular parts of the video. But before I get into it, if you do enjoy it, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you don't enjoy it, leave me a dislike, leave me a comment. Let's start a two-way conversation. I'm all about having a balanced argument. I'm not here to say that my view is the only view and that it's the correct view. So yeah, let's have a discussion about this. Also, don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every week and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when. So the first thing I had a problem with was that one guy said everyone is heterosexual and that gay is a wrong mental development. Now, he kind of said more to that and I'll probably show you at some point. I might have just shown you, I might be about to show you, but he also made it kind of seem like homosexuality is a choice. Everyone is heterosexual. The idea that some people are naturally homosexual or naturally gay is just a, a social construct. So when you have an individual who has same-sex attraction, we see it as something went wrong developmentally and we try to resolve the issue and put them back on the path toward their natural heterosexuality. And my response to that is why would anyone choose the bullying, the attacks, the abuse? Like why would anyone choose that if it was a simple choice of, oh, I can flick a switch of, yep, that's gonna be me, I'm straight now, or no, I'm gonna be gay. Like, I couldn't tell you what my choice would be if it physically were a choice, but if it were, do you think anyone would really make that choice to go through all of that? Because I personally don't think a lot of people would choose that. If you have the choice of an easy life or this other kind of homosexual life, would you make that choice if it were a choice? Because I think the reason people do it is because they know what's inside of them, they know what's natural to them, and that is why we choose homosexuality. Now, the next thing I have a problem with is a guy saying that this is for people who want to choose to be straight. It's not for the people who are happy being gay, it's only for people who want to change themselves. Our organization, People Can Change, is there for the man who voluntarily wants to experience some diminishment in his unwanted same-sex attraction. And Journey into Manhood is a weekend program that we offer to help build that understanding and that opportunity for, for men who want to choose that path. We have no interest in telling people who are happy being gay that they should change or that there's anything wrong with them or whatever. That's not our mission. That's not what we believe. Now, my problem with this is it's all very founded in religion, right? So what about these religious families that are putting pressure on their children to not be the way they are and they're sending them off on these camps? Obviously, they've got to choose it, but is it always their choice? That's my problem. This guy then goes on to say it will help them diminish their feelings to whatever degree that is possible for them. But we do believe that men who are uncomfortable comfortable with their homosexuality should have opportunities to understand it and try to diminish it to the extent that that's possible for them. So they're clearly realizing that it is not fully possible for everyone to completely diminish their feelings. Do they really think it's fully possible for anyone? Because as I say, I've only seen part one of three and in part one, it is the counselors all setting up and there is a point where they say all of the counselors that are there have been through the program themselves. So they've all struggled with homosexuality. And a lot of the guys that are there all still clearly seem gay to me. I know there's no way you can see someone's gay, some people might seem it more than others, but like, if you watch the video, you can see a lot of them still seem quite gay. Or oh, sorry, should I say camp? I also wanna point out here, I've only watched part one because A, I got that angry and I couldn't keep going, and B, I thought it might be fun if I reacted to parts two and three in a future video, so if you wanna see that, let me know. So next, we get onto their Jack and the Beanstalk reference. Yeah, the staff wear a pouch of magic seeds, so it represents Jack's, uh, the, the seeds that were planted in the 
in the Jack story, um, Jack and the Beanstalk. Which seems like a way that they kind of frame the whole weekend. I might be wrong on that, but it seems like that from the video. I mean, A, you've got the phallic image of wood growing from the ground, and B, you've got this big masculine man versus a very young twinkish boy. Does that sound gay to anyone else? And I mean, it is essentially a theater camp. The story of Jack and the amazing being stopped. Yeah! That seems pretty gay to me. Like, I realize this is being created by gay men, clearly. But it is all pretty gay if you ask me. I mean, there was one comment I saw that was like, let's all go to theater camp and talk about our feelings. Like, they were clearly making a joke out of it, but that's literally what this weekend is. Oh, I've clicked off it now, but there was another comment I saw. It said something like, how do we get guys to stop being gay? Put them in the woods with lots of other gay men and let's all do theater. Like, seriously, is this how we're supposed to be suppressing these emotions? Not to mention that suppressing those emotions is gonna cause a lot of depression. And we'll get back to that later on. So the next guy I wanna talk about says, I was bullied, so I chose this path to Towards heterosexuality. 31 years ago, I almost killed myself over my same-sex attractions. So everything that happened in my life prior to that, sexual abuse, physical abuse, being bullied to half to death, living in fear every day of my life, I realized what I was facing, I put a name to it, and I'm probably queer and homo. I said, oh, you're a, you, you really are a queer, you really are a homo. But I made the decision then that that wasn't where, how I wanted to live. I wanted a wife, I wanted kids, I wanted, the, I wanted a normal life, and I set out to go make it happen. So he's clearly a coward who couldn't stand up for himself, and he also couldn't stand up for the rest of the LGBT plus community. If everyone chose that path, if everyone said, no, I'm getting bullied, I'm getting abuse, I'm getting attacked, I'm just gonna fake my life, and I'm gonna be miserable, and I'm gonna hide for the rest of my life, does anyone realize how much more suicide and depression and anxiety and addictions and all of that would be in the world because people were suppressing it. This is my whole problem with the whole thing, like it's causing a lot of more damage than it's worth. And to be honest, I don't really think it's worth a lot anyway, trying to change someone for who they really are. So mentioning all of those mental health issues, the creator of all of this says there are more mental health issues among gay men. At least I think he's just talking about gay men. This there's more depression, there's more anxiety, there's more self-defeating, self-destructive behaviors, alcohol abuse, gay men smoke cigarettes more than straight men. Like, of course there is. We spend all of our lives, particularly growing up, being told that who we are and what we know we are on the inside is wrong and it's sick and it's disgusting. How would that not lead people into depression? And then people spend their lives hiding themselves away and being depressed and then when they finally want to come out, A, they've got so much anxiety about coming out, but then the anxiety doesn't seem to stop for some people because they're still getting attacked and they're still getting abused and they're still getting bullied. Like, I don't want this to be a message to any young people that are thinking about coming out. If you've got a safe space to come out to, then great, do it. But I'm not saying that all of these mental health issues don't exist, but camps like these are contributing to the stigma that it's wrong, which means so many people have these mental issues because of the stigma and because of the societal construct that we are under natural and that we're wrong. This last guy then goes on to say, I'm a married man with one son, he's straight, and he works at this clinic. Are you, so you're a married yeah. man? Yes. Do you have children? Yeah, I have one son. And um, is he heterosexual? <laughs> Can you imagine? No, of course he's heterosexual. He's married and he's a psychologist and he actually works at this clinic. What would you have said if he came to you? I, I would have said, I, what did I do wrong? A, all of the counsellors at that clinic have been through it themselves, so he's clearly had some kind of homosexual tendencies at some point in his life that this guy has tried to suppress. He's tried to put his own kid through it. And B, why did the owner start this in the first place? Was he struggling with it himself? Did he need somewhere to turn and he couldn't find anywhere? So he created this for himself? That's one question that I've got. So anyway, yes, this has absolutely infuriated me. Like when I saw the first one, I just got so mad. I had to say something about it. I do kind of want to say if you enjoyed it, please give it a massive thumbs up. I mean, I don't know how you can enjoy such a negative topic, but if you did, give it a massive thumbs up. 
thumbs up. Again, let's start a conversation down below. Tell me your thoughts. Are you with me? Are you against me? And if you want to watch another video just like this one, there's a couple right over there that you can go watch right now and a subscribe button below me that you should click because I post new videos every week. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know exactly when. And I'll see you soon.